Tom Pinson's alongside head football coach Pete Rossomondo as we enter the last eight or nine days of spring practice and heading into the spring game coming up on just a little over a week. And, and Coach, what have you guys been able to do so far uh, through your practices this spring? I think the good news is we didn't have a lot of question marks coming in that we knew who was going to play certain positions. And it's just a matter of getting out there, getting some reps, and, and getting a lot of things done in the last 10 practices. We've got five left to go here, and hopefully we'll continue to make strides as a team. You know, we don't have to answer specific questions right now. There are some competitions, but I think for the most part, we got depth, we got players. It's, it's just getting reps at our offensive and defensive systems. Weather-wise, at this point, I think we're just one day in the snow. I think we had uh, we had three or four inches out there while you guys were practicing one day. Uh, but today, gorgeous, and tomorrow morning certainly uh, the opportunity for another another great day. Um, let's start on the offensive side of the ball, and and I think the biggest question mark going in, and you mentioned it earlier, was the offensive line. Yeah, we had you know three guys graduate, and uh, we have some shoes to fill, but I think we're in really good shape. We moved Justin Douglas from defense, and he's playing really, really well. And Dusan Etienne, who's a freshman redshirt, has really come on as of late. And Derek Orange is playing center and played the last game last year, which didn't work out too well, but he's playing really well right now. And uh, we feel good about the four, the five guys we got right now, and we got some. We're developing some depth right now in the spring. An opportunity for some guys to, to get a lot of reps during spring practice that may not get it during during the regular year. Is that helping out that group on the line? I think it is. Yeah, I mean they're getting all the good reps. You know, not just the not just the one or two reps that you get in, the, in during the season. They're getting six, seven, eight, nine reps a period, which is good for them. They're getting good good work with our offense and our defense, and and they're playing really hard. And you know those those are the things you don't do during the season. You don't you don't play as hard as you probably should because uh, you're not going full live. We mentioned the spring game in just over a week. It'll be next Saturday, um, and um, let's move to the outside on the on the offensive side of the ball. The, the wide receivers. What are some guys, or who are some guys that you're looking at on the outside to make make an impact? Well, we've had we've had a lot of guys step up this spring. Uh, Malik Rush is uh, having a good spring, and Joey Fields is really playing well. I mean, he's showing that not only does he have speed, but he has the ability to make plays down in, inside the. The interior of the defense, which he hadn't shown in the past, and Alex Jamelli from Southington is really playing well right now. And uh, all those guys with uh, Chika Chukwa, who's coming off the bench right now, but he's really starting to play as big as he is, which is six three, and guy that can jump and block and do all the things that you want a great receiver to do. How much has Chika benefited from the redshirt season last fall? Oh yeah, I mean he was so raw when he got here; he couldn't play as a freshman. I think the off season and, and getting him acclimated with the weight room and you know he they never lifted in high school so for him to get a chance for a whole off season to lift is it's really been huge for his his development. Who's made an impact this spring for you in the backfield, both the quarterbacks, running backs? Who who have you really seen step up and, and really take control? What we saw last year was Devin Lofton step up early in the season and he's really stepped up in the spring. He's he's uh, done really well in the off season. He's put on some bulk and gain speed and all those things is really transferring onto the field. He's a really bright football player. We've shown that he can really play. Uh, obviously, Kyle Jordan, who's coming off an injury, is really showing up. He's a big physical back and it's helping our offensive line develop. And, and then, of course, the quarterback position. You know, Jake Dolgala right now has got a pretty strong hold on the number one position. And we thought coming out of last year that he'd be the guy for us, and he's certainly shown that he can be and he will be. And he's making big plays. He's got great poise. And, you know, coming up behind him is Tanner Kingsley from Woodland High School. He's really playing well right now. And he's a lefty. He gives us a little bit different variation. He can run a little bit. He's a, you know, starting point guard when he was in high school on a basketball team. So he's got, you know, he can run an operation. He's doing a great job of that right now. Let's move over to the other side of the ball. We'll start with the defensive line and guys that you've seen made an, make an impact so far this spring. Well, redshirt freshman Brandon Purrett uh, from Rochester is really playing well. He's big. He can run. He's playing nose guard. And, you know, I think he gives us a pass rush dimension that we haven't had there. And of course, Chris Tinkham, who's the rookie of the year, is really playing well. And I think the most improved guy is uh, right now Joel Maddock, the big Australian, is really playing well. I mean, he's playing really good and physical, which he hadn't played in the past. He's more of a finesse guy. Him and uh, uh, Chad Woodfind, who's a transfer from New Haven, is really starting to play well right now. Let's move to the linebacking core and those guys, and, and which guys have made an impact. 
Randall Laguerre, is obviously, he's he's going to be the stalwart of our defense. As long as we can keep him clean from the D-line position, he's going to play really, really well for us. And Kenny Keene, you know, a guy that, that was a backup last year, has, just, has won the starting job in the spring so far, taking the one reps. He's doing a really good job. He's explosive, can rush the passer. He can, play, he can cover in the pass game, which we really haven't had from the inside linebacker position. And uh, we look for big things out of him. And then outside, you know, we got uh, Keir Miner, who's, who's added about 15 pounds, and he's really playing with that physicalness that we're looking for. Um, Lance Ormsby's playing well. We got a new guy named Seth Manzanares who transferred from Glendale, who's really playing well right now. He's 6'4", he's 250 pounds, and he can really run. So those guys are helping us out. And got Kenny Artsmo, who's another outside backer that's really he's – a, he's a steady Eddie guy. He's out there. He's doing the right things. He's always in the right place to make plays. You mentioned 10 practices in and five to go. You started before spring break. They got a little bit of a break for spring break, and, and you're going just about every other day um, with some more work on on Saturdays. What do you hope to get out of these last five practices? Well, we want to stay healthy. Obviously, that's the most important thing. But, you know, we just want to continue to improve and, and become a little bit more consistent on the offensive side of the ball. I think out of the 10 practices, we've had seven really good practices offensively. And we've had three that were not so good. Not not that they were they weren't bad, but they just weren't up to the level that I think we're at, we're expecting right now. You know, defensively we got to tackle a little bit better. I think we got to play better coverage in the secondary right now, more consistent. But up front they're playing really well, and as long as they can continue to be consistent up front, we're going to have a good shot to be really successful. And and then Eddie uh, Groth and Frank Palmer in the kicking game, those guys are real, we're starting to kick field goals now and do some live stuff with them and. Uh, they're doing really good, and off season's really done well for Ed. He's kicking the ball well and punting well, and Frank has you know, put some girth on and some size. He's able to drive the ball a little bit better than he had in the past. Spring, spring game will be one week from this Saturday, and we'll go at 10 a.m. at Aru Field. Uh, I don't think coaches really like the spring game. Uh, what, do you, what do you hope to get out of it? When I say don't like it, I mean it, you, you kind of go through it and you hope that nobody gets hurt. Uh, what do you hope to get out of that game? Well, we, you know, like like you said, we don't want to get hurt. We want to stay healthy. We want to make sure we get guys into the off-season program and the uh, summer program healthy and ready to go. But it's a great time for our kids and our incoming recruits and our alums all get together. And, you know, now we're one family and everybody gets together after the game. We have a barbecue and it's a really good time. So we want everybody to come out, support the team that we have now and welcome the new players that we have on our team coming in. In the fall, it's going to be a lot of fun getting those guys here at a route. That's probably what it's really all about, more so than anything we're going to do on the field. We're just we're really watered down what we're doing offensively and defensively anyway. And it looks like we finally reached springtime. We have some nice weather starting today, and I know uh, for this weekend coming up, at least some nice weather in hand. So, Coach, thank you for taking the time. We appreciate it, and good luck in those final five practices. Thanks.